it is super loud out here right now but I want to take you through all that I've done so far and where we're at and give you the inside scoop on the wiring harness and all the sensors and control units that are in the dash because I just took the dash off so that'll be really good in case anyone needs to replace any of them or wonder where they are exactly so here we go okay first let's go to the night before when I removed the dash because I couldn't find this video a perfect one out there there's a lot of obvious bolts that need to be taken out and just look all through the dash for them and then for this odometer there was two connectors on top and those four mounting bolts that I was pointing to while I was talking here there is one part here that it has like a snap clip you need to pop that out so that the wire harness will stay with uh, the main wire harness and you'll be able to pull out the gauge cluster so looking at that this could use some cleaning maybe some polishing on the plastic and we'll see if I keep it or get a new one so looking inside here look at this rust on all the steel parts you can tell how much moisture was in here by looking at the bar that goes from left side to right side of the body and bolts in this thing is like a flood car and that's why I'm taking the entire thing apart because I don't know what's in here and what's it all about what I need to replace I wanted to get these vents out because I want to clean those out there were mice in here and I found a couple nests so I want to make sure to get all those nasty microbials out and going into the dash here I'm looking this way because I'm kind of investigating what do I need to take this thing apart um, looking in from behind see that little screw there I was trying to get those out from behind so I could get out this um, heater vent AC vent and clock cluster but that does not come out alone unless you're super good with really tiny screwdrivers with a lot of torque you got to pull out the whole dash now there's the airbag assembly under the passenger side and that actually comes out with the dash you don't unplug the igniters on the actual airbag you unplug the main yellow wire harness that I'm showing there. So, coming back out, let's look at what's next. You um, remove the speaker covers. You can use a little plastic pry. Be careful if your dash is really nice. This thing's all scratched up, so I don't even care. Might repaint it or I'm not sure. It gets really hot, so I don't want paint smell. There's one bolt in either corner, and that's it all along the windshield. There's none in the middle. There are no bolts in the middle or clips. Okay, so there's a speaker, and you need to unplug the speaker connectors, and those will come up with the dash. So I had to get underneath, you know, reach my hand under, but those were really easy. Now, under the gauge cluster, there is a stud with a nut on it. You have to grab that out, unbolt it, and then down here, there's several bolts you need to pull out. And now I'm starting to get a feel for how loose this is and see what else is attached in here. I'm showing underneath the passenger side, there are two bolts you need to get out that attach the airbag assembly to the frame. So get those out and then this whole side will become loose. You can't get it out without opening the doors. So keep that in mind, you know, use a partner and try to pull it out. Not like me do it by myself. So I pulled off the weather stripping to get these plastic covers out. Um, first you got to take off the oh crap handles Unbolt them. There's two little covers over their bolts. And this just has two pop Snaps and it holds down this piece here that I'm pointing to it holds that down So you can't get the dash out without getting those um, Corner covers, what are they called? So there's the airbag igniters don't do those just see how they already took out the two bolts side to side That's what you want to do and I was able to get my impact driver up in there with the extension. So here's the dash, and I'm just about to take it out when I realized the antenna for the radio was still plugged in, and I was kind of pulling on a little too hard. Hopefully it'll be okay. All right, with my phone in hand, getting this thing out, one, one person, it was caught up on the steering wheel, because you gotta really lift it up vertically straight to get over that, because it wraps all around, kind of down. Put it here, and let's take a look under this dash. It's nighttime, sorry. Airbag assembly, there's a connector. This is under the dash. 
just kind of look in center console and over here is where the um, cool little container right in front of your steering wheel is that you can pop up Ooh. I'm just looking at this weather stripping okay back in the sunlight awesome here we go got my engine out got the interior out and here's kind of the overall view of the project at this point. Um, there's power steering still attached, air conditioning, uh, compressor still attached, uh, random wires. Uh, I had a bunch of extra accessories that this guy included, alarm system and so forth. They're all hooked in to terminals. I ripped all that stuff out, still working on getting the wires out. There's the ABS. I don't have that on my 2000 Tundra, so this will be good to use a track and so forth. And here's what the mounting kind of bolt pattern looks like on the A750F transmission. So up here, here's the, where the heater core inlet for the antifreeze. There's the main wire harness from the engine, engine wire harness. And these are the AC lines that go into the evaporator under the dash. Keep track of all of those and make sure you get them all plugged in when you put your new engine in. Now, looking back at the dash. Now in the sunlight, we can see everything. We'll go through this wire harness. And I'm going to be jumping around a little bit, so just try to stay with me here. Okay. Looking back. Down here, you can see the brake and the gas. And then this is where the evaporator or heater core is. That carpet there on the back goes all the way up, all the way down. Um, now I'm pointing out over here. I had to pop the side out before I pulled it up. And now I'm going to point out the mounting points. There was one there on that side, one over here on that side, nothing in the middle, like I said. Here's the steel kind of brackets. Looking down, there's one the screw there. There's a screw or a bolt there. They're really obvious to see from the front. She's a flashlight and get them all. And you'll know if you got them, if, if it starts coming loose. So multiple bolting points attachment points and these are the airbag assembly attachment points either those front ones or the ones right behind there and I gotta get those vents out and clean them this thing had mice in it and now we're going and digging in uh, looking in here this is oops where am I at here Okay, let's start from over here. Od odometer, gauge cluster, two connectors. Over here, those must go up to the roof. I'm not exactly sure what all they do. Probably dome lights and so forth. Right there, that was a speaker upgrade option on the pillar there. The black box is the radio setting condenser. Not sure what that does. There's a main fuse box. And moving on down to the brake switch. And we have our gas pedal switch, excuse me, sensor with the connector. Look in from the top here. Get a little bit better view. Got that. And we have the ignition key lock and my wire harnesses. I think there's two that plug in. And then going down this way, there you see they're destroyed from the alarm system that was installed. So I have to fix that. Maybe get a new one, we'll see. Okay, moving on. Over here, center console. Um, you're gonna have connectors for the clock and the uh, AC servos, and these are um, for this cluster gauge that you turn up to control the temperature, and there's your, um, see that's the little cluster down below where you have all the buttons on the center console and it comes with all the wires they're all different so look at here I saw this which is a door lock controller I'm thinking hmm I can get a remote for this I only have the keys that guy there is for rear parking um, sensor even though I don't have that option who knows maybe I can buy the switch and get it get it working by the sensors okay looking under here we have our airbag controls this is the main computer for the airbags, and you can tell because you got yellow lines going out from it, going to each seat, so you can detect if each airbag should go off. So you don't want to throw them out, set them off if no one's sitting there. Then there's 
the airbag up there and let's move around here as I'm walking along took off the outer bumper a little bit of tiny bit of bent steel there and what's cool is you can actually buy a hitch it just bolts on here you don't need this at the aftermarket hitches now the not cool part is it cost cost quite a bit of money for small pieces of welded steel but hey all right looking in getting a closer look on the passenger side Whoop. whoa that's like a servo motor i believe to open the blend doors for the hvac there's your connection for your blower fan this is where your filter goes for your indoor air cabin air and checking out the ecu area it's right above the kick panel on the passenger side got my ecu and to the right is my four-wheel drive ecu assuming you won't have that if you have a two-wheel drive whoa okay we're just going on in flipped you around so i could take a look-see here get these part numbers for myself sorry for the interruption well maybe you need them though you can get at least this one i think i'm shooting for the next one now and it's not as easy to focus oh well let's get out of here all right there's a the blower we're upside down i gotta flip you around it's like flying a starfighter through the those pokey things on those big warships okay there's a lot of um connectors that plug into these big white boxes and the connectors come right behind there's the wire harness the main wire harness coming through and we're looking here at the door sensor gives you that warning if your doors aren't closed um, there's the antenna like i said before going down and across on each side both rails passenger and driver you'll have wire harnesses going up to the various brake lights towing and other accessories you have back there this one I assume is a door sensor that's going through a wave. Could it be a side airbag? I better check if I have side airbags on this thing. Not sure. Okay, now just taking a little bit of an overview here. And see what all you got. Okay, there's more sensors and more connectors down here. It's like a brake, emergency brake switch, and a park or neutral switch. Going in there, so there's wires going up to that central module and when you pull the cable it's a cable linkage down to the transmission and it's a cable linkage to the emergency brake okay I'm gonna take you back over here to driver's side back to that uh, radio box and then looking down underneath I forgot to show I think it's the rear diff lock computer so that's there I've seen some guys do wiring mods on that so they can just click a switch to turn it on at any speed well, to be able to still drive, you get what I'm saying. Not have to be in four low. And this is the shift lock control ECU. And that's all about all I have to show you. Thanks for watching. See y'all.